on to our newest property now that we are looking at. So the other day I did some agent outreach and sent out about 12 different emails to different agents on properties. Checking to see if seller financing was even an option or if they were open to it, so on and so forth. Um, just really testing the waters. I ended up speaking with eight of those agents and this one in particular told me that the owner is selling two properties. Um, one of them is under renovation right now. So they are open to terms, which is beautiful. And uh, now I'm going to underwrite two properties. So here's the property. Um, pictures look pretty good. They did a great renovation on this. The other unit that they're still working on is gonna look, they said identical to this one. So now I come into my deal calculator. The asking price for both of these units is $240,000. If you see here, I am offering $270,000 and I'll show you why. My gross rents, future projected, are $1,250 for each side. Taxes, three grand. Insurance, 80 bucks a month for two units. Uh, my management fee, vacancy, and maintenance. I'm doing my own management, but I still like to factor this number in because I will hire it out eventually. 10% down, and here's one of the keys. 0% interest because I already built it into the price. 30 year term on amortization. On this one, I'm asking for a 10 year balloon. Closing costs are gonna run about $15,000 because I will be paying both sides of that. Now let's get into the fun stuff. Gross rents, 2,500, all of our costs, just to operate everything. So our total operating cost is just under $740 a month. That makes our monthly NOI 1761.50. Then we come over to our seller finance loan, 270 grand, 10% uh, down, that's $27,000 down, plus 15 for closing, leaving me with a principal of 243. 0% interest. Payment to the seller, 675. My monthly cash flow, a little over $1,000. What do you think about that deal? 31% ROI. Cap rate, just under 8%. One mistake I just caught while writing up the LOI, uh, I was only factoring in for one property tax. So both properties are $3,000 a piece, so I corrected that. Changes our numbers a little bit, almost a 24% ROI, and still a 6.72 cap.